So what about management? Right, um, indications. So I would reconstruct the postlateral corner with an isolated or combined grade two or three injury. And I would uh, um, reconstruct with tibial external rotation of 10 degrees or more. Okay, now um, it's difficult to actually measure 10 degrees. These things are very subjective. Um, what I would say is that if you can identify it reasonably easily, it needs reconstructing. Okay, if you're having to go back side to side, and sometimes these are subjective things, patients are not so relaxed, they might be in pain, don't be uh, worried about bringing a patient back on another day to, uh, to re-examine them, or indeed get a colleague. I'll often ask my colleague Nick or Tim Spalding, like, what do you reckon here? Can't quite make my mind up. So do examine people very carefully. Now, when it comes to management plan, we've got several options. Acute repair, yes, we do that uh, in, in acute multi-ligament injuries, but always augment it, uh, failure rates 40% um, compared to 6% if you do reconstruct. But then with the reconstruction options, we've really got three things. I'm not going to talk about the Houston advancement. We've got Larson, Arciero, and then the Laprade. So what are these operations? The Larson loop, the most common one that's done, uh, it involves a single femoral tunnel, which sits between the popliteus insertion and the LCL insertion, and then a single uh, tunnel through the fibula. Most people would use a hamstring graft for it. It's relatively quick and easy, but it doesn't control external rotation very well, and it doesn't allow selective tensioning of each limb. The Arciero reconstruction is more anatomic. We've got the same tunnel on the fibula, but two tunnels on the, on the femur, one for popliteus and one for LCL, and they're 17 millimetres apart, and it does allow selective tensioning. The LCL we fix close to extension, and then the, the popliteus limb uh, uh, at about 60 to 70 degrees of flexion. The Laprade technique, same tunnels on the femur, um, but... This was described with two hamstring grafts. So the first one goes from our popliteus, and instead of going through the fibula, it goes forwards through the tibia, and then the LCL graft down to the fibula, through the fibula uh, head, and then we're going again through the, through the tibia. Now, the claimed advantage of this is that it controls external rotation better, and that you're reconstructing the popliteofibular lig ligament. But actually, this isn't really the popliteal fibular ligament. I would argue that's the posterior proximal uh, tib fib ligament or capsular ligament, um, which fixes the fibula to the tibia, but not really influencing the rotation. Um, Al Getgood and James Robinson came up with a modified version, which involves one hamstring tendon, same principle, but we're fixing uh, with a, an adjustable loop button through, through the tibia. And this is well, uh, well described in their paper. It's worth having a look at. Now, whatever you choose to do, you need to understand these surgical windows through the ITB. This one at the level of the epicondyle to identify your popliteus and LCL insertions. And then usually this window here, just behind the biceps tendon to dissect out the common perineal nerve. And you don't normally need that middle window. So, um, which is best? Well, this is... Um, a review of uh, 31 cadaveric studies from last year, uh, September last year, and the results actually showed that for non-anatomic, this is the Larson, it fails to control external rotation. Both the uh, Arciero and Laprade uh, restore adequately the external rotation and the varus, um, but actually the Arciero showed slight superiority at 0, 30 and 60 degrees of flexion. So, Final moments, what do I actually do? The majority for me, it's the Arciero. It's actually one of my favorite operations. Uh, I normally use an autograft, uh, but happy to use an allograft in a multi-ligament situation. Um, we drill six millimeter sockets for the insertions and six millimeter tunnel through the fibula head and fix with interference screws. But I'll do a modified Laprade um, if somebody has a really big external rotation, despite the data I just showed or if they've had a disruption, occasionally get postlateral injury where the proximal tib-fib joint is actually disrupted, so there's no point fixing to something that's mobile, um, or in extreme hyperextension, because this limb maybe helps control hyperextension a bit more. So in summary, the key structures are your LCL, popliteus, popliteal fibular ligament. Together they stop varus and external rotation. MRI is not helpful in chronic cases, so make your examination good. Make it part of every suspected ligament injury that you assess. Um, 
I suggest you learn the Arciero and the modified Leprade, and you should then be able to deal with all of these patients and then just get the post-op rehab right.